Hello friends, it's Heather and today I'd like to share a birthday card I created for our challenge over at Sugar Creek Hollow. It's week 15 and it's create your own designer paper. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this. You'll see that I have created an ATC here with blue um, with creamy polka dots as well as a black frame, some pink roses, little white flowers, and a bluebird. All images from the Graphic Fairy, which I used GIMP um, to create my own little ATC, and then I created the you know the blue and cream polka dot paper as well as this kind of creamy with uh, pink lines polka dot paper. So let me see if I can get a really nice close up of the pink and the yellowish cream color and the little bluebird with the flowers and leaves. And you'll see that this birthday card is going to be going to my girlfriend Mary Beth. Hopefully she'll see this. Hey Mary Beth, I miss you and Jen and Mike. And the boys, meaning the pooches. Um, I also used a Spellbinders die, a Nestability, and it's the rectangular fleur de lis. And my cardstock is just a um, light blue, and it's a Stampin' Up cardstock, which I got from my girlfriend Heidi. And then this paper in the back is a pink and white pattern, and it's from the Glitz designs and I bought that at my girlfriend's store in downtown Dexter actually my best friend's store Jenny um, it's called Polly's Paper Studio so if you happen to be in Michigan you'll want to go check out her scrapbook store she's got a lot of beautiful things there to uh, purchase okay I just wanted to show you really quick the um, so you can see the glitz paper um, it's just the pink and white striped on one side and then the other side is this kind of um, black and white uh, distressed looking paper, which is really cool. I simply used a stamp and some distress ink and vintage photo by Ranger to add polka dots. So in a way, this is kind of paper I made my own as well. And then this little blue rectangle here at the bottom is just another Spellbinders die, um, part of the nestabilities. And it's like, I think the smallest one in this set. All right, I used some fabulous, fabulous, fabulous embellishments from Pro 31 Designs. You'll see I have the pink ribbon rose, and it's just a sheet of, um, it's kind of like a three inch wide piece of ribbon with all these little rosettes in it, and you just cut them out and use them. I have my favorite May Arts leaf trim in the green and then I have these wonderful crystal wheat sprays that are variegated kind of in color and they go from green all the way to clear and they're just gorgeous they had a lot of sparkle and it's funny because the very first time I um got some I was like well I don't really know if I'm going to use these and now I use them in everything and I'm about to go and order some more um, from her store because I'm loving them they come in many different colors you're going to love them. They had great depth and nice sparkle and just instant leaves and texture and flourishes to your cards. And I also have this fabulous um, Baker's Twine in the brown and the white. And that is from the Really Reasonable Ribbon. Um, I won that in a challenge there and I got to pick out $10 worth of product for free. And so this is one of the um, items that I got. And I really love the Baker's Twine. They're really nice there and they ship really fast. Okay, um, let's see. All my edges were distressed, and again, I used the vintage photo. And then I have my favorite champagne flatback pearls, and all I did was cut them individually and glue them on using a hot glue gun. Um, it just really makes this card look nice and vintagey. And part of the um, challenge over at Sugar Creek Hollow is that we like cards to be in the vintage style, the shabby chic style, or in a primitive style. And then this week, in, on top of those um, three like parameters, we ask that you create a designer paper. And it only has to be one piece of your card or your altered piece, or you know, a tag or ATC that is the um, paper that you designed. So let me go ahead and open this up. And you can see that it sits up, it's an easel card. And it just says, happy birthday. And I'll go ahead and I'll just flip this back. So you can see the bottom here. I've got this fabulous little button that I bought as part of a pack. And I used some um, little silk thread that I got from my friend Sandy. Um, Maximum Embellishment is her blog. I've got these wonderful ivory mulberry roses from Pro 31 Designs, as well as some more of the flat back pearls and the champagne, and some more of these ribbon, um, the rosettes, which you can see these are a little bit bigger than the other one. I'm going to do this upside down, sorry, but just so you can see a little closer. 
Um, the other one on the front, I made smaller, so I just cut some of the circles off. And then I also used some of the flat back flower shaped pearls, and I really like them. They add, um, you know, another just little flower that is a different type of element. And of course, some more of the uh, leaf trim uh, by May Arts. So I just love that in the green. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back. And you'll notice that my name came off. I just stuck this on there and I didn't actually put it on really well. Um, I got to give it a good um, little sticky sticky so I can put that in the mail and uh, mail it off to Mary Beth. Okay, so it'd be really great if you would come and join us at the Vintage uh, Sugar Creek Hollow uh, Challenge this week. It goes till Friday. I'm not sure on what time Friday you can upload your project, but if you upload your project, I'll be sure to comment and leave you a little love on your project. It'd be fun. And each week we pick a winner and um, you'll get a badge and then sometimes they're sponsored and you might win a prize of a random draw prize. And then the design team chooses their uh, top three and then whoever gets the most votes is like the winner and gets a badge. And it's really a lot of fun. And who doesn't love getting badges for their blog, right? Okay, so that's it with my card so come check us out at Sugar Creek Hollow and check out Esmeralda's store at Pro 31 Designs you'll really love her embellishments and if you're interested in purchasing my class sheet you get um I believe it's one two three four six maybe images I believe um on a sheet for two dollars and fifty cents and they're for sale on my blog thanks have fun bye